Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy WavyYT, and I'm back with another video, bro. As you can tell, bro, if you're wondering, man, what this video is about, man, y'all just like, share this video to all your friends, subscribe, click that bell, Noti on, man, Noti gang, you know what I'm saying? Put it on, turn up post notifications on, bro, and also enjoy the video. So basically, as you can see by the title, man, this is basically on their website they finally released um basically what's gonna be in little my player builder and stuff like on um, on 2k21 next gen bro this is great news because it's next gen bro like also now let me know man y'all getting the xbox or the playstation 5 man y'all let me know man what, what y'all getting bro so as you can see right here is player as you can see look at the player builder bro it says player builders badge and takeovers the next gen player builder is also customization we're taking a lot of feedback to the community over the past years as we evolve the my player builder experience one thing we hear loud and clear is that you want more options you know what i'm saying and it's no more pie charts bro so you don't no longer need to choose from the preset skill breakdown pie charts for the next gen instead we're just going to give you control of each individual rating to the cap so it's not like you can max out all your players and stuff so yeah man it's looking good man and if you i mean you can read it yourself like i just said you can't max out anything but it's more much control with the player that you want to be so if you can see in the background it's like each individual stat has a max like upgrade and if you pause the video you start as a 91 overall i mean a 41 overall which a lot of people is gonna be tough you know what i'm saying but as you can see we have multiple takeovers bro like it's ridiculous bro you got pull up angle breaking like you can see right there bro we just have so much look at the hairstyle right here bro we got more hairstyles bro you have your primary and so you have do dual, dual um you have dual takeovers in this game bro you have dual archetypes as you can see it says primary and secondary bro so that means nine times out of ten is dual archetypes man and you can also get to change your takeover uh you basically could choose your takeover uh not change your take you can change your takeover so if you uh, put shot creator and slasher you might want to do sharp and slash you know what i'm saying so yeah but this my player builder thing is looking nice bro <sighs> I'm just glad we finally get just a new game in general. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, takeover. In case you're new to 2K, takeover is the ability to get hot and over games. It's been popular for the past couple of years. Da 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 da. And they pretty much upped it for next gen. Instead of limiting players to eight general archetypes based takeovers, we've broken them into eight 24 more specific takeover abilities in a way that you can think of unique badges. So that basically means as you can see bro all these badges bro you got advanced gatherers a lot more spin euros finishing moves and zero contact finish at the rim easy blows i'm not gonna read all of this y'all can read it yourself pause the video but just these are all the uh take basically takeovers you can choose in order for you to actually you know uh you know for your build bro so you can be a probably like a six nine six eight center and have sharp and slashing take or if you want to change it up you can have slashing take glass take or something like that but we also change takeover to be a multi-tier system once you set up your ratings and videos you will be represented with a subset of the list above type of build you made then choose one ability for your primary another and for your secondary if you want you can put the same ability in both sides if you want to double up on it when you're in game your take up mill will fill up to your primary slot first once filled you can choose to activate it right away or try to fill your secondary spot so it's not like it's kind of like 19 with the dual takeovers but you have to fill the first slot up and then you have to fill the second one in order for you to be a sharp shooting slasher basically at that point when you unlock takeover but, but the, the last thing i mentioned about takeover we want to honor our late friend kobe bryant r.i.p kobe bryant man rest in peace man who tragically lost way too early this year when you earn all your badge points you will see the mama mentality badge which allows you to change your takeovers when you want so just like kobe can choose so basically once you max out your player 
I think you max out your player at 93, if I'm not mistaken, or 95. I think that's the cap. And then, basically, you get the badge, then you can change the takeovers. So when you start, you're not going to be able to change the takeovers off rip. But you can change the uh, takeovers once you reach max, your max badges. Not max badges, but your max overall. So, honestly, it, this game is looking for way go, man. I just hope, like, like as you see, man, you earn basically. It's like 2K from 2K16 to 2K. Uh, I mean, 15 to 17. It's basically like this, man. You, the, the amount of upgrades you have is what um, badges you can get. It's not. I'm. I don't know if you can change the badges like 2K20 like right now, but like I said, badges. A lot of thought redesign with the badges next gen. Um. It, yeah, man. But most have undergone some significant functionality changes. There's some also new ones, some revived ones, some removed ones. So they removed some of the different takeovers. Hopefully they remove some of the bad ones. And it looks like Steady Shooter is on playmaking. I don't know if that's Steady Shooter bad right there or not. And complaint, compliment your play style that you may not expect. Here's some new returning badges and what they'll do. So basically, this is right here. I'm not gonna read all of it. I might, I, I, if you look in the bottom right somewhere, ankle braces makes it tougher for ball handlers to break your ankles. Mm, so this is pretty good for a lockdown badge. I mean, yeah, for a lockdown. Clutch defender boosts your defensive rating and clutch movement. Hot stopper boosts takeover meter for good defensive plays. I like still block. Okay. So they basically revamped it to where like you can basically the badges you have can help like prevent ankle breakers or get more ankle breakers or contact dunks do uh standing dunks and like you you'll see you can read it right here man you can also check out their website also i'm, I'm also going to link their website in the uh description so y'all can check out this yourself you know what i'm saying but like i'm saying man it's, it looks like 2k it's like i don't know if you can change your badges or not we have to see because if if it's giving you hall of fame angle breaker hall of fame contact finisher or something like that you know what i'm saying or we can put those type of badges on there but it looks like it, it will give us the badges that you know they give to us depending on what's our uh rating for but it's weird because if you're looking in the background this dude has three hall of fame categories so that means it looks like you can have three hall of fame categories not Hall of Fame categories, but some badges that gets Hall of Fame, man. So that's what it looks like to me, man. But and here's the badges that we retired because it was either redundant or didn't fit the new design or the community just didn't like them. Consistent finisher, contact finisher. Ooh, I don't know about that. Let me know how y'all feel about contact finisher, bro. Koski score, definitely fancy footwork, fast bake finisher, deep hooks. That pick and roller, relentless finisher, showtimes they phase, flexible release. Okay, now some of them make sense. Like, uh, some of them make sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, like who uses some? Somebody just don't even use like deep hooks. We didn't like because too many post scores is using it. You know what I'm saying? Too many post scores is using it, bro. And it was annoying, bro. So yeah, man. Y'all let me know, man. How do y'all like this, bro? I feel like it's pretty good, man. But um, yeah, man, it's a short little video, man. I had to update y'all on this, but y'all stay tuned, like and subscribe, and peace out, man.